We have to stop her. I, for one, hope I never see that girl ever again. Stopping that kid is the only way we're making it out of here. Come and check this out. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Save me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all, that you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I don't think executing the girl is the right way to go. She's probably traumatized. As much a victim here as anyone else. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. I don't know what's right or wrong anymore. Nothing here makes sense. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. How you doing? Ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't crazy. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Makes no sense. I'm good with that. It never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. We could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. We need to get moving. Taylor! 
Cover! Taylor! That you? Hold on to me! Whatever happens, do not let go! We gotta move, okay? What the fuck is that thing? <sighs> Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. back there with that thing whatever it was it's gone and it ain't coming back I really hope you're right only a matter of time before they come after us again that's a pretty negative outlook you got there there's got to be a way of stopping the girl we might have already missed a chance to change things you had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is a liar and a faker put her in the dock for a change why didn't you take it We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. Sure, I've been here before. Hey, up here. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. been here for a long time. <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. 
Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary... is just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like... She's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? Maybe I'm being dumb, but I don't get how we, or anyone, can change something that happened hundreds of years ago. Normally, I'd agree with you, but we can see these events. Somehow they're running parallel to us, so I think we can change them. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here.
Can you help me out here? Doing what? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Let's go before anything else happens.
fucking thing. Professor? Professor? Hey! You guys! Andrew? Daniel? Thank God. We didn't think we'd see you again. Got lucky, I guess. First time tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> Thought I'd lost you. <sighs> this isn't over. That thing back there is still after me. Did you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Whoa. Seems a little harsh. Something moving over there. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? No sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'm powerless in you with madness. Roy, you by six servants. We have to stop this. Get away. You give me that. Look. See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones! The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? 
I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right.
kids of our own, none of this would be happening. I know who I married, and it wasn't John. Doesn't make sense. This isn't happening. Now what? You hear that? I did. Can only be the girl. Let's go find her. <laughs> She's in here. Stay here. again. I am filled with dread at the purpose. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. These people have lost their minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but... Now in her hour of greatest need, I this child know. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. And Mary alone. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. 
the truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring little hope back into the line? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fools! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's all! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. But I didn't save you. I can't believe it's finally over. You protected the girl and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. Let's get out of here. Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? I think finally. This whole nightmare is over.
sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through you hell, that, right? We're finally getting out of this hell. You can't blame yourself. <laughs> I just wish we all could have made it. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. 